Listen, son. You think you're gonna play a stupid video game about cars and you're gonna become a race car driver? All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. I'm doing it. Ah, uh, and boy, has he done it. Yes, that was a clip from this past summer's blockbuster, Gran Turismo. Maybe you caught it in theaters. Yes, it's based on a true story. And guess what? It is based on the story of my next guest right here. Jan Mardenborough is with us now. Welcome to Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. How are you as I, we know you are driving somewhere, literally, which is very appropriate. <laughs> very good, thank you. Not currently driving, I'm a passenger. Otherwise, I'll be, yeah, it's not really easy to drive and do this at the same time, but uh, I'm doing very good. Uh, well, okay, let's take off your passenger right now, but boy, you have been in the driver's seat and getting to know your background, again, what we were able to see on the screen in Gran Turismo. It's fascinating to learn someone who got the skills playing a video game is now able to be a professional race car driver. Take me back to the skills you were able to utilize and that first time though, you actually sat in the driver's seat of one of the vehicles that now you race in yeah i've always been i thought you know decent at uh racing games i've played them ever since i was eight years old uh specifically gran turismo i've had every console and game since then um and i've never done any go-karting never done any track days i had my driver's license maybe a year and a half uh, well yeah a year and a half and then I entered this, entered the GT Academy with a chance to become a professional race car driver. And I just wanted to see how far I can go. I thought I was handy as a driver, just driving my road car. But uh, all the skills I learned playing GT all those years, they are transferable because I'm proof of what has happened since. And I've raced you know, all over the world in different series, raced in America, uh, Japan, Europe. And uh, yeah, I'm still going, still racing currently to this day. And now Gran Turismo focuses on a chapter of my career, the first four years really of my career, and how I got into racing, winning the academy, and that, uh, that transition from virtual to reality. So yeah, those skills can be learned on the, on the game and transferred to real life. Well, and I'm so interested to hear you say this because, you know, I, I find so many people saying, oh, this video game, for instance, is like real life. How prepared were you when you did step foot, when you did go to the camp or still was it a shock because your body is going through things that, well, sometimes a simulator cannot be able to recreate as we're seeing some clips right now from the film. Yeah, like I was prepared enough because I'm... Um, I'm the first step of the ladder. There was other people at the academy that had done, had experience on a track or done karting. I was zero. I'd done nothing, but I was still able to get to grips with racing a racing car fairly quickly. I knew, kind of knew what I was doing. When I look back at what I was doing 12 years ago, I didn't know what I was doing, but at the time, <laughs> it's, uh, I kind of got to grips with it pretty quick. Um, and that just from playing the game. Well, two more things I want to bring up before we run out of time. The first thing, though, I, I really loved reading your story, how you were such a fan of motorsports. Of course, it's very costly. And when you were at that point in your life 12 years ago, being committed to a dream, I feel like that's something that anybody can take away. Is that a message that you still like to share? Because now you're in a position where so many young drivers look up to you because of the success you've had on the track. It was the... The reason why I agreed to um, pursue the movie because you op you have to open yourself up to all your the negative things that have happened um, into details of your personal and private life and your professional life as well. But I thought, okay, if there's one person that watches this movie on my life and takes control of their life, follows their dreams, whether it be a motorsport or gaming or something completely different, then it's worth the um the sacrifice of delving into into the details of my life and i'm very blessed that all the messages i've received it's been confirmation of that it's i i get thousands of messages on like instagram and i read as many as i can and it's uh i'm very lucky to have such a positive effect on, on people and uh, i don't take it lightly oh uh, yes you are we're out of time jan what's next though for you uh, any more Preparing movies or no, you're going to be sticking to the track these days? 
<laughs> who knows about movies who knows but uh, i'm preparing for next year uh, next yeah. year's racing series so uh, i want to race in hypercar mp1 whether that be in american imza or europe in wood endurance or in japan in super gt it's preparing for that good well i hope you get back over here to the states saint pete has a fun road course too i don't know if you ever heard about it maybe we'll get to see you uh, one day racing on that I do. You've got some great tracks over there. Good stuff. Hey, take care, Jan. Thank you so much for joining us. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure and to check out Gran Turismo. Again, there's the website on the bottom of the screen. Take care, Jan, and thanks again. Thank you. Pleasure talking to you.